A Dallas civil rights leader is leading a push to get more African Americans vaccinated for COVID-19. Here's his story. More life with Jody Dean. Dallas civil rights activist Peter Johnson has stood up for others all his life. Not as a pioneer, but I do feel a challenge to ring the bell, to say, wake up, wake up, wake up. The journey that started with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. has now compelled Johnson to stand for a different cause. Over the last, say, 40 days, I've been getting calls from all over black America. We are literally burying our people because of this pandemic. Black Americans are three times more likely than whites to contract COVID-19 and twice as likely to die. But thanks to horrific episodes in America's past, such as the infamous Tuskegee experiment, far less likely to get vaccinated. There's an ugly, ugly history regarding medicine and black people. To Johnson, reason enough to be part of the final clinical trials for a prospective new vaccine from a company called Novavax. They are miracles. They really work. There, there's no other medical intervention that comes even close to what a vaccine can do. The difference with this one? Nanotechnology engineers it. It's like a 3D printer. And it doesn't need super cold storage. Places all over the world don't have that kind of equipment in the first place. It makes a huge difference logistically to have something that it takes advantage of the established cold chain. We have to move beyond yesterday and look at today and tomorrow. Johnson is now busy organizing black-owned businesses and churches. To have a Sunday designated to get our people vaccinated. This is a like the space effort. This is a massive scientific enterprise. How do you feel? I feel fine, Jody. I feel fine. We knew it would evolve. The technology specifically addresses this idea that the, the virus will evolve. If we don't protect black America, we jeopardize all of America. The next time it happens, we'll have a much quicker, better job of getting to a solution. We've got to respond to this. It is a moral, spiritual responsibility and obligation that we help each other. By the way, Peter Johnson has been taking risks for other people now for 61 years, ever since that first march with the Civil Rights Movement when he was only 14. Now, if you know of a story of good people doing great things for others, share it with me. Send it to morelife at ktvt.com. I'm Jody Dean.